Let's talk about one of my favorite credit cards, and that's the PenFed Gold Visa card. How do you get a high limit without fail the first time you apply? This is important. I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation, boss. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we want to talk about the PenFed Gold Visa card. This is just a fantastic card, okay? And how do you get a high limit without fail the first time you apply? Now, before I get into the nitty-gritty, I, I want to give you an overview of the card. This is a, just look on the screen. This is a beautiful card. We love this card anyway. And you need to know the Gold Visa card in and out, okay? It is actually, um, what we love with this card is the low purchase APR. Right off the bat, it's just, it's just fantastic. Obviously, you got to have the right FICO score for it, though. But, you know, when you think about 7.49 to 79%, that's a good delta. That's a good range, okay? And it's a great it's a great range in the in, in this industry. So when you think about uh, this benefit gold visa, the only thing is it does not earn rewards, though. But it does have other benefits. Let's talk about that. So we have, what are the pros and cons here? The pros, there's no annual fee. There are no foreign transaction fees, and you have promotional APR on balance transfers. Fantastic, okay? But there are no rewards. That's the, that's one of the, the detriment here. There, is, there are no fancy perks or benefits, okay? And the promotional APR offer only applies to balance transfers, not purchases. So PenFed, that's something you need to think about, okay? And you need to have PenFed membership, of course, to qualify for this credit card. So the bottom line here is this card is great. It has a welcome bonus of $100 when, when you spend $1,500 within the first 90 days of account opening. So this offers is pretty good because it gives you uh, some nice bonus. We, you know, we love that. And But what's really interesting about the card is that it offers a 0% introductory rate for 15 months on balance transfers. Think about it. This is a, not, this is a great period for, for a promo. Okay. And so after that, you have a 7.49 to 19.99%. Now, the thing is that the card is great in terms of you want to use this card exclusively for balance transfers. Let's say you just carried a lot of balance on other credit cards and you just want to have a, something uh, you want to you want to get a break on your on your pay, on your interest payment. This is the card for it, for you. Don't get this card if you're looking for benefits. No, you have other cards. You have the Power Cash cards. OK, you have. Uh, so there are a lot of other car other uh, Benefit credit cards that allow you to get the benefits you want, but this gold visa card is great for balance transfers Fantastic, okay, and obviously on top of that you have a 24-7 fraud monitoring you have high-tech security You have zero dollar for liability, okay, and this is kind of cool And uh, we also love the fact that you are able to actually uh, You can download the PenFed app and be able to see your transactions in real time through the app Fantastic So once the once you have an overview of the card, if you want to get a high limit the first time you apply without fail, you need to have a FICO score of minimum 600. Oh yes, 600. M maintain a FICO score of 600. If you are if you are around 595, they could still get you in, but 600 is really where where it's at. Okay, it's important to make sure that you right now. I want you to to uh, to resolve to uh, check your credit score. Where are you? What kind of score are you? Do you have currently? Do you even have an idea, boss? I'm talking to you. Don't you try to razzle dazzle me with like, yeah, hey, no, you know, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I probably have a 595. I have 605. I have 620. I don't know. Listen, boss, go and check this right now so you have a clear idea of where you are at in terms of your FICO score. And there are a lot of places you can check your FICO score at. Okay, annualcreditreport.com, Credit Karma. Your PenFed, PenFed, you go to your, your PenFed dashboard. If you are a Navy Fed member also, go to your Navy Fed dashboard. You have a Wallet Hub. You have Credit Karma. You have a lot. There's a lot of uh, a lot of places where you can check your FICO score for free. 
So don't try to don't sit around and just say, you know, I'm just not, I'm, I don't know. No, no, you should know. And once you check your credit score, you need to your credit reports. You need to check the reports to make sure it is accurate, right? It's important if there are if there are stuff that you don't like, if there are errors, if there are signs of identity theft, you want to fix them. You can send dispute letters to the credit bureaus yourself, or you can actually uh, complain with the data furnisher, with the the lender or credit card issuer that provided the data in the first place. Okay, make sure you always pay your credit cards and the loans on time, all the time. You want to be in a position where you lower your credit utilization. We've talked about credit utilization on this show and other shows. It's important to maintain a credit utilization ratio of what? 30 or 35 percent. Very important. OK, if you want to get the PenFed Gold Visa card, those are this. This is very important. You want to take care of credit accounts that have been sent to collections. Do you have credit accounts that have been sent to collections? Take care of those accounts. OK, you want to optimize your account age, credit mix and credit inquiries. What I'm trying to say here is that you want to diversify your credit so that you have a large, you have a nice credit mix that has uh, loans, that has lines of credits, that has uh, credit cards and HELOCs and whatnot. You, you also, you also want to make sure that you actually don't close accounts unless they are charging you crazily high fees because the longer your credit, the better it is for you. And the second, the, the third thing is that you need to do not apply for new credit three to six months before applying for the PenFed Gold Visa. Okay, if you really want to boost your chances of approval, PenFed likes to have a clean slate. Okay, because if they start looking at your application and they realize that your ass has been applying for credit here and there, here and there, here and there, this signals actually bad something bad for your application because they will deny your ass because they, they, they just realize you are desperate for money you have not been financially responsible that's why you have been applying here and there and they don't like that they don't like that so three to six months before applying for the pen fed gold visa you really want to uh, to be patient you really want to be strategic on what on when it comes to uh, applying for a new credit card or new loan okay those this is very really important and this kind of uh goes back to what we said before about credit inquiries, right? Because a new credit card application could interfere with the process of approving you for the pen fair code visa. Oh yeah. This is why you got to strike the right balance, the right balance between your needs as a borrower, as a credit card applicant, and your desire to be qualified to be approved for the pen fair gold visa. It's totally, totally up to you. The decision is yours. You need to decide what's important, whether you can you can go by without your pen fair code visa approved or you really want to have this approved. So it's it's totally up to you. OK. And one thing I want to say here is that because a, a lot of people make that mistakes of actually applying for multiple credit cards with, within the same day, thinking that this will also this will uh, only account for one credit inquiry. You are just uh, lying to your ass. If you apply 10 times on 10 different credit cards you're going to have 10 hard pulls you're going to you're going to have your credit score like nosedive like crazy okay don't you listen to people who are telling you hey listen they're just razzling dazzling you with uh, inaccuracies and, and falsehoods telling you if you apply if you apply for multiple accounts within 24 hours it will account for one hour it will count it will account for one one credit pull one hard pull one credit inquiry that's not true so be very careful. Be very careful when it comes to uh, applying for a new credit card or a new loan to not do it. And the cool thing is you can even seek pre-qualification first because pre-qualification does not have an, an impact on your credit score, at least at the beginning. Once you get pre-qualified and you love the offer, you're going to have to actually qualify for the loan, which in this case will ask for a, a hard pull. If you want to boost your chances of uh, being approved for the, the PenFed Gold Visa card without fail the first time you apply, I want you to pay attention to your net worth, boss. Cuz I'm talking to you, grandpa, grandmother, dad, mom, I'm talking to you. Uncle, are you there? Aunt, are you there? Auntie May, are you there? Listen to us. You want to pay attention to your net worth. Okay, sis, I'm talking to you. The thing is, you want to gradually increase your net worth when you start mulling over the, the application process. 
And the cool thing is if you have actually your 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 accounts with PenFed, that's fantastic. In other words, you want to set the right deposits, for example, so they can see the, the, the movement of cash inflows and cash outflows. This is really good. In and out, in and out, in and out. That's what we want, right? We want to have movements. We want to have some kind of what kind of some kind of dynamic energy in your credit, in your liquidity, in your cash inflows, in your cash outflows. So you want to gradually increase your net worth. What is net worth? Total assets minus total liabilities, right? That's the basic net worth equation, right? And so you want to consider PenFed banking. I've said this before. So PenFed has a lot of accounts and you want to actually cultivate a tighter relationship with PenFed. You want to have a, you want to be in a position where you are actually uh, opening. You can open a checking account, a savings account. You can actually have an, an MMA. That's money market accounts. You can open uh, a CD, a certificate of deposit. You can open uh, a savings account. I mean, you have possibilities okay and try so this will help you cultivate a tighter relationship have a multi-product relationship with PenFed which in the end is really important it's gonna help you qualify faster for the PenFed gold visa card did you get that so both this is important what I'm talking about you know increasing your net worth I'm talking about increasing your net worth at PenFed you want to park a lot of your cash at, at PenFed so they have a clear idea of your progress right they know that you you are banking you're making money that you, things are good for you that the times are good right times are good okay and you want to be in a position where you have more assets than debts that's what we want anyway we want to have more assets than that so we have a positive net worth okay and you want to have also a positive trend in terms of your net worth over time in other words your net worth must be going up over time okay and update your financial information in your PenFed dashboard have you have you uh, just gotten uh, an increase at work? Have you gotten a raise in terms of salary? Do you have a new job that's paying you more? You want to update anytime you have a, a nice financial information that a nice piece of financial information in your life. You want to update your your PenFed dashboard so they have a clear idea, a more updated idea of your financial uh, status. I want to talk to you about pre-approval. This is very important. If you want to be, uh, if you want to be approved for the PenFed Gold Visa card, I mean, the first time you apply, seek pre-approval. Okay. Now, if you go to the PenFed website, if you are, if you're not a member, you don't have a link to pre-qualify for their credit card. You can pre-qualify for their loan, but not their credit card. For to pre-qualify for their credit card, you actually need to be a member. And what will happen is that. If you log into your account, into your PenFed account, in your PenFed dashboard, you will see a link for whatever uh, credit products you pre-qualify for. Every, you know, every now and then they send this to uh, members just to encourage them to give them offers they might qualify for. And so if you see a pre-approval, honestly, you have nothing to lose. You can always pre, you can always pre-qualify. Very important. Why? You know why? Because pre-approval or pre-qualification i mean those two words are a little different but in this case i'm just using them uh, interchange interchangeably okay the thing is that if you are getting a pre-approval or pre-qualification you're able to get what a soft pool and that's great great because you can see whether or not you might qualify for the pen fed gold visa card and that's what we want we want to be in a position where we can have a glimpse into uh, the whole pen fed gold visa card membership a uh, card holdership and see if we could qualify Okay, so cause so that's what you want. You want to seek pre-qualification, and uh, so PenFed might ask you a few questions to pre-qualify you. Like they can ask you, tell us about yourself, to see if you are eligible. Again, there is no impact to your credit. Okay, and then you get you give them information about yourself, your address, your you, so your geography, your biology, your profession. Biology means your your date of birth, your social security number. Okay, identify information. Talk about how, your income talking about maybe your household composition for instance and based on that when you click on uh, pre-qualify me you will see a, a list of eligible offers okay you can see the cards that you are pre-approved for and you can choose the best offer for you and in this case you want the pen fed gold visa right that's what you are after and that, that's good and then once you choose that if you or if you like the offer then you have a shortened application whereby they will ask you other questions and ask you to upload let's say your tax returns or your bank statements and other financial and in some cases your pay stubs to sort 
to verify your income information okay and after that you should be good to go and they will ask you what kind of uh what kind, why are you why do you need this pen fed gold visa well because you want to do balance transfers all right or you want to do something else but balance transfers are really the it, it's really the reason why people actually take this card so you just pick uh your uh, you just pick uh the balance transfer option okay but don't forget you don't forget to put your name address email phone income and social security number i'll be right back but after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're still having a conversation about uh, the PenFed Gold Visa card. How do you actually uh, get it the first time you apply, okay? Now, you want to build your PenFed credit, but just make sure that you don't have more than five credit accounts open at the same time. This is really important because PenFed is looking at you as a borrower, as a credit card applicant, and they're trying to gauge their exposure to you. They're trying to gauge their exposure vis-a-vis -vis you, right? And they do this by looking at, okay, this person has a lot of credit accounts with us. How much money are we exposed should something happen to me? Something happens to him, to him or to her. Okay, it's all about making sure that they estimate, they quantify their exposure to you. Are they uh, exposed by $20,000, $30,000? What is the cumulative amount of debt that you have uh, with PenFed? Across all credit products, though, I'm talking about credit cards to credit lines. I mean, I'm running the whole gamut here. So you're talking about loans, you're talking about HELOCs, home equity line of credits, and whatnot. So those are really important, okay? Credit products, you want to sit down and think about how many credit products from PenFed you have. Credit cards, loans, lines of credit, student loans, car loans, mortgages, HELOCs, okay? And ideally, you want to have fewer than five credit products. It's not just about quantity, though. It's also about quality, right? Because obviously you want to diversify your credit mix, and that's what's going to help with your FICO score. Okay, anyway, it's always great because it shows financial responsibility, okay? And that's really great for your FICO score in the long run. But it's also, go, it's also great for your chances of being approved for the PenFed Gold Visa card anyway. And that's where that's the position where we, we want to be in right very important so uh, the, the thing here is because i'm talking to you so you want to actually sit down right now right now i want you to sit down and this is a big decision time for you big decision time big decision time so you basically want to be in a position where you uh, analyze how many pen fed credit uh, accounts you have okay do you have a lot do you have uh do you have uh, just two or three how many do you have and make sure that if you're able to uh, pay some of them off, to repay some uh, credit products, some loans, before you apply for the PenFed Gold Visa, this could be great for you. I want to talk to you finally about uh, your utilization. So we're talking about credit utilization. So the, the, big, the thing is that if you want to uh, get a high limit the first time you apply on your PenFed Gold Visa card, you want to maintain a low utilization ratio. This is important. Now, experts say that you have to maintain 30%. We say 35% is a good mark also, okay? But the bottom line is you want to be in the 30s because once you get into the 40, that's like a crazy, that's crazily high, okay? 50, don't even talk about it. So your credit utilization is basically the proportion of credit that you use, okay? Now, as I said before, 30% is not a magic number. It's just, an, it just uh, I would say it's a metric you want to, you want to, it's like a heart, it's a just, it's, it's a yardstick that allows you to see, okay, you know, this is good, this is not good. And it matters a lot, okay? It matters a lot when it comes to being approved for the PenFed Gold Visa to have a lower CUR. It's very important. Now, credit utilization matters, even if you pay your cards in full each month. I don't care if you say, you know, I pay my card in full each month. Yeah, of course, but it, it still matters because it, it accounts for 30%. Okay, check this out. It accounts for 30% of your FICO score. So this is really important to maintain a good a good credit utilization ratio, okay? And so the, here are four tips you can implement today to lower your credit utilization ratio. 
the first thing you want to do is if you have other credit cards from PenFed or other players, other lenders, other card issuers, you want to ask for a higher credit limit systematically. This will help you a lot, okay? This will help you and you want to ask for a higher credit limit systematically. You want to set up an automatic balance alert so you know like, hey, listen, your balance is going up. You have to uh, pay it or you have to uh, make a decision at that point to ignore the balance alerts. But the thing is, you don't want to ignore it. You want to make full payment if you if you can. Pay your bill twice or three times or four times a month. Everybody tells you, hey, pay your bills once a month. Okay, this is good. But we are we are saying here to you that it's a lot easier to make multiple payments within a month so that when your credit when, when your credit card issuer reports your data to the credit bureaus you stand a chance of having a high I mean, of having a low credit utilization ratio instead of uh, because you don't know when your credit when your credit your credit card issuer is actually reporting your data to the credit bureaus you don't know you have no idea so it's just a lot better to uh, boost your chances of having a high FICO score, in other words, having a low CUR by making multiple payments during the month. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. I was just talking to you today about the PenFed Gold Visa card. How do you get a high limit with, without fail the first time you apply? And uh, I gave you an overview of the card. Maintain a FICO score of 600 minimum. Make sure that you you don't have no new credit make sure that you increase your net worth seek pre-approval if possible you want to think about your PenFed credit accounts and think about your credit utilization ratio thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate that i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous